Only on WPBF 25 News, West Palm Beach police say a group of women from Broward County tried to scam a restaurant demanding money after they say a rock was found in their salad. Detectives say the women faked a doctor's note to try to get the restaurant to pay them thousands of dollars for medical bills. Suji Su Nam, go ahead. Suji <laughs> Nam shares exclusive body camera video of the arrest. Hi. Oh. This police body cam video shows an undercover detective disguising himself as the owner of Avocado Grill in West Palm Beach. Before arresting these two women for allegedly trying to scam the restaurant. So how did it get to this? Investigators say last September, a group of women were enjoying a meal at Avocado Grill when a woman named Elaine Sanders injured her tooth after allegedly finding a rock in her salad. But investigators say she was lying. Her real name isn't Elaine, it's Ann Miller. Also at the table was a woman who went by Stacy Wells, but her real name is Sheila Miller. Soon after, the group decided to file a claim, so they sent Avocado Grill a medical invoice. The restaurant was given a quote for a dental treatment plan for the tooth that amounted to $8,775. The dental office on that invoice said, however, the name, Elaine Sanders, is, quote, not a past or present patient. So detectives took matter into their own hands, figuring since the women never met the Avocado Grill owner in person, bring these uh, suspects back to the restaurant where they were allegedly going to receive $6,000 in exchange or, or as payment for the supposed dental treatment. The lead detective on this case assumed the role of the restaurant owner and greeted the women and met with them at the restaurant. Officers then arrested Anne, who you see in this video, and her mother-in-law, Mary Steinberg, who came with. They say she was also a part of the scheme. Detectives also eventually arrested Sheila Miller for allegedly obtaining those fraudulent documents and helping with the scam. She posted bond on Wednesday. This is not uh, these women's first attempt at a ploy like this. So we're looking for anybody else that might be a victim to this to come forward. Notify the West Palm Beach Police or your local police agency if it's not from within our uh, city. In West Palm Beach, I'm Suji Nam for WPBF 25 News.